are not because there is energy available. If I eat something, that eventually gives me energy, right? Energy is not the problem. The problem is this glucose, if it cannot go in the cells, it is going to stay out. Imagine lots of fish, glucose being fish. All those fish are sitting out where? In the, in the blood, in the other extracellular spaces, wherever it can. What does it do? Is it, is it a bad thing for glucose to, extra glucose, lots of glucose to sit in the blood? We don't like that. Bad thing? Yes or no? It's a bad thing. Somehow it should be a bad thing. We're talking about diabetes, increased glucose, that is a bad thing. So fine, that is a bad thing. What really happens? Any one mechanism. Why is extra glucose, why is hyperglycemia a bad thing? Just tell me one mechanism. The simplest and the straightforward answer should have been non-enzymatic glycation. What is that? What is non-enzymatic glycation? Look, if you have a small tiny aquarium this big and you have two fish in it, the fish are just moving around, having fun, sometimes they'll poke the walls and that's fine. But if in the same aquarium you put thousand fish, what are they going to do? They're going to be touching the surfaces all the time. Imagine you have thousand glucose molecules where there should be just one. What is that molecule going to do? It's going to just grab hold of the things around it. Right? So now imagine there is a small protein that is sitting there and doing some function. And a glucose molecule comes and holds it. Would that protein do its function? That is the simplest way to understand it. There are many, many more mechanisms. We are not doing that right now. But I want you to at least understand this, that as the glucose cannot enter the cells, glucose is going to pile up outside. That pile of glucose is going to cause problems. So the diabetic complications that you see are a result of this glucose peak. So can I then say this? I'm digressing for a second. Can I say this, that if somehow you find a way not to create the glucose peaks, not to create the glucose peak, if you can figure out a way not to put 1,000 fish in the aquarium, in that little box, then you should be okay, even if the person is diabetic. That is why they cut carbs. That is why we say take less glucose. That is why we try to give them medicines that remove glucose. 